Hey everybody, Scott Sprancher here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, December 2nd, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. If you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, it's a cool way to do it, man. I've been telling you about this for a while, and if you're new uh, to these videos, to DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. All you got to do to get a free $60 account is click on the link below this video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. It comes with the DocSports guarantee, and you can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. Comes with a guarantee. Get started by clicking on the link below this video. All right, we'll get to the free pick in just a moment. In Monday action, we do have one game to go in the NFL. That is, the, of course, the battle between Minnesota and Seattle. A little Monday night football. And uh, really wanted to tell you quickly, how about yesterday, man? That action that was coming in on the Green Bay Packers was crazy. If you happen to check out my segment on ESPN on Sunday morning, about a half hour before the games kicked off, we talked about the fact that one particular global book uh, had uh, taken over 80% of the tickets and the money on the Green Bay Packers. And then a book that is both here in Nevada and global uh, had taken over 90% of the tickets and the money on the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers went out and got the win and the cover anyway at the New York Giants. That was something I haven't seen this year, being upwards of 90% of the tickets and the money by kickoff being on one side, at least at one global book and a couple of other casinos both here in Vegas and around the country and offshore uh, but anyway they got the job done did the Green Bay Packers for us uh, we have a nice 60% six week run now six weeks of 60% winners college and NFL football combined but I went 0-2 on uh, Sunday simple as that just uh, came up short with Baltimore against San Francisco uh, but overall again an 0-2 day for me we haven't had many of those uh, for quite a while now six week run still sitting at sitting at 60% against the spread in college and pro football. We still have the Monday night play going, the side between the Vikings and the Seahawks. And of course, we've got college football conference championships coming up in just a few days on Friday and Saturday. And I will be in action. The lines are out. I've already handicapped most of it and uh, got a lot of good information already. You know where the line value is. Just got to wait for some injury updates, things of that nature. Conference championships will be posted over at DocSports.com. Regular time, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for those of you who have asked. I will be in action. There's no doubt about that with a multiple college football card for me. Also, of course, we'll be jumping into the NFL, all available on Thursday. Now, normally what we've done it throughout the football season is tell you where the games and the lines have moved in college football on the opening day of lines for the next week's card, which is, of course, every Sunday afternoon and evening. would give you circa openers and where the bets came in and how those games that had lines that moved more than two, two and a half points. And there's obviously... Uh, many uh, a, a lot fewer games this week with the conference championships and there's really only one game that's seen any significant movement thus far that happens to be the conference championship clash between Memphis and Cincinnati and so far we've seen about a one and a half point move as far as the, the opening line is concerned uh, let's see on that one you had the Memphis Tigers opening 11 and a half at circa uh, they've been bet down to 10 that of course in the American championship game which is being played at the Liberty Bowl in Memphis and again, that game, of course, on Saturday. Uh, so anyway, that's really the only line move of more than a half a point thus far for this week's college football. Really want to tell you quickly about what's going on for us over at DocSports.com on Monday. We've got the Monday Night Football game. You can go grab that right now if you have yet to get it. And then we've also got NBA, college basketball, NHL. Now, you know the drill. NBA and NHL will be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern time. College basketball, looks like I'm going to have two plays. And those will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. We want to see if by morning, uh, if both of those games either move in our direction or don't move with us too much because then it would probably drop down to one play. But right now, it's looking like two plays in college basketball. We've been on a nice little run here over the past week now in college basketball as our numbers are starting to come together and uh, listen those plays are available on Monday the football game for Monday night is available right now as we speak and also wanted to mention be sure to check out our videos 
Tuesday night, meet myself, Tony George. We're going to have our 10 and 10 with a brand new look. I think you're going to like it. We're going to talk about pros and Joe's betting and more. And I'll tell you more about that on Tuesday's video. But we'll be shooting those on Tuesday afternoon. And those should be available by Tuesday night over at DocSports.com. I'll also tweet those out. All right, let's get to the free pick for today for Monday uh, action. And we're going to turn to the NBA where the Golden State Warriors are at the Atlanta Hawks. And the Hawks right now lay in six points at home. A little bit of action so far on the Atlanta Hawks. Of course, uh, the Hawks got absolutely pummeled on Saturday by the Houston Rockets. A really nasty uh, game for uh, Atlanta. And I expect them to rebound here because this is the season. Despite the fact that you know Atlanta's record is as bad as Golden State's, the bottom line is it's as good as Golden State's. We haven't been able to say that much over the last several years. And when you get a chance to put the screws to Golden State, you're seeing some of these teams being able to do so. Now, yesterday, Golden State took the loss. But if you were on the Warriors plus the points, they did stay close enough to get the cover against the Orlando Magic, but now playing on no rest. You know that they're shorthanded, and I think you're going to see a better effort out of Atlanta after giving up all those points to the Rockets on Saturday than having yesterday off. So we're going to recommend laying the six with the Atlanta Hawks at home over Golden State. That is our free pick on Monday night. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. Let's put Monday in the win column, and I'll be right back here Tuesday by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.